Schenectady County Community College has brought to its community a moving exhibit of the photographs of Frank Espada entitled The Puerto Rican Diaspora. The exhibit was in the process of being hung as Mr. Espada took a few minutes out to talk with us about his work and the story it tells. This is our 36th exhibit. We've been exhibiting for 11 years. And we've had, uh, I would say, without doubt, uh, positive experiences everywhere we've gone, to some degree or another. Uh, and by that I mean this, this is something, an event in a community that's for the most part invisible, that, that uh, is ignored, uh, that doesn't have too much to, to, you know, to, to laugh about or, or to, to be proud of. Uh, it's also um, an exhibit that brings the community together in, in many of these places, all kinds of things happen as a result of, of this, this exhibit. Uh, we do a, a, uh, a seminar or round table uh, connected to this, which we call the Migrant's Tale, where people sit around and talk about their experiences, their migratory experiences as Puerto Ricans in this country. As a result of these things, all kinds of other things happen. Uh, organizations uh, are, are formed, uh, forums in some places. Uh, dialogues begin in places that have never had this kind of dialogue before. Uh, all kinds of very positive things have happened as a result of this. All having to do with we looking at ourselves differently. The most important reaction uh, to me um, is the recognition uh, that our community sees they recognize themselves in the photographs. They see themselves in the photographs. I think that's, that's most important. Uh, there have been some criticisms about the fact that this, the project is, uh, is too negative. Uh, but that's far outweighed by, by those who, who recognize it for what it is, which is an unflinching look at reality. It's, it has, has no, no, pretty, no pretty things to tell, for the most part. It does have to tell a lot about our, our communities. Uh, strength, uh, the dignity of our people, uh, has to do with, uh, <clears throat> with the fact that uh, no matter what happens, we are still together and we are still unhyphenated. We're not Puerto Rican Americans. Uh, the anti-poverty program in the 60s created a lot of leaders, people who were out there trying to do some things and they saw an opportunity with some resources and so on. Uh, however, those were not the people who wound up in positions of, of, of responsibility or power or, or uh, any kind of influence. Uh, the, the, the people who, who, who finally wound up there were people that were selected, that were picked, handpicked. And they were handpicked on the basis of the fact that, that they had to look like, like them, they had to talk like them, and they had to dress like them. Then they were accepted. And then they were given positions, or given you know, all this stuff. But the true leaders, the people who, from, the, from these communities that, had, that, that really had uh, uh, the pulse of the community, that had the best interest of the community at heart, that were not particularly interested in a bigger job and a better job, uh, those people were bypassed. What is going to save us uh, is our inner strength, the, the strength that I, found, I have found in this community. And that's going to be based on, on self-identity, on, on identifying ourselves as, as a strong people, which is the reason why I militate against the word Hispanic, because that's a word that engulfs all of us and we drown in. Uh, we're not Hispanics. This is something that was invented by someone else. Another, another aspect of the labeling process that goes on all the time in terms of minorities in this country. Uh, they label us certain things, and they say, okay, that, this is what you are, and this is what you're supposed to do, and this is what's, what's, what, you, what you have to look like. Uh, no, we, we don't accept labels. This powerful exhibit of the work of Frank Espada may be seen Monday, April 8th through Thursday, April 11th in the Van Curler Room of Schenectady County Community College. And now these events.